Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to use the zip files for you advanced users out there or even your intermediate users this is not for you this is for actually my dad and anybody else who needs it in the future so follow along as I teach you how to create and um, uncompress um, and uncompress zip files or create and open um, is the uh, layman's terms but the actual technical term would be to compress and uncompress a file so you see here um, I'm gonna go ahead on my desktop I'm going to go ahead and create um, three new documents I'm just gonna right click and I'm gonna say new say Word document and I'm going to do that again. New Word document. New Word document. Okay, so now these are just any old plain Word documents, so I'm just going to rename them here. I'm going to right click, rename, I'm going to call it one. I'm just going to go real simple here. Two and rename three. Okay, it looks like there's already document number number two over here in the side of the desk that you can't see, so I'm going to throw that away, and I'm going to rename that again because it's bugging me. Two. Two. Okay. Oh. Now, where's one? One. Okay, there we go. One, two, three. All right. So, um, there's the three documents. Now, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, the way to zip a file or compress it, you can use the Windows built-in utility, which is on every modern Windows computer. So all you have to do for to get access to that is you just highlight the three documents, right-click, send to, and then just you want to collect compressed zip folder. Okay, so it's automatically going to create a zip using the um, first file in the directory name so as you can see since one is the first file on the desktop it's going to create one dot zip and that's what it did it created one dot zip and it's actually over here on my other desktop now so I'm going to put it back but um, there it is one dot zip and if you wanted to open it you know using Windows um, built-in application you would actually just click it, double click it. Um, the icon would look a little bit different, but um, basically that's the same process. Um, I'll show you, you just double click it like that, click, click. And you would get a screen very similar to this. And what you would have to do if you really wanted this, I mean, because I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna delete these off the desktop here so that I have room to put them. So now they're, they're in this, right now these files right here are actually inside this it's kind of like a folder, but it's actually what it is is actually a it's a zip file. So all the things in here are compressed, and as you can see, um, the size of the f the total zip file is only 3.74 kilobytes. Whereas if we just unpack them, and all we gotta do for that is just drag them over there and as I drag them they appeared they actually appeared on my other desktop um, and I dragged them back over here because I have two multiple screen desktops so um, they actually appeared over over on this side over here but um, I just dragged them but put them back here so all you gotta do is drag them to there essentially and it will create them okay and then to go ahead and um, just to see that it, it, it worked it actually if you look at the file size of the, all of them together it's actually 36 kilobytes okay whereas with the, if they're in a zip file it's only 3.74 so you can see it compresses quite a bit text files uh, compressed uh, compress quite a bit okay so that's the way to do it with uh, Windows built-in zip file however I personally like to use a different method I'm gonna go ahead and delete this we're gonna start over I like to use a different method I like to actually just um, I have this beautiful program called WinRare 
and you could find it really easily by just doing a Google search for WinRare. Um, but this is how you would use that once it's set up and in your system. It's really easy. You just right-click the files. I mean, excuse me. You just you create a box to select the files, a selection box. Right-click, add to desktop. Rrr. See. Okay, as you can see. A little bit of noise outside. As you can see, it creates automatically creates uh, creates the files. However, it does a little bit different than Windows built in utility is in that it actually uses the folder name, the whatever folder they're in. And since we are in the desktop folder within Windows, it names it folder.rare. I mean, excuse me, desktop.rar. RAR. I guess that's RAR. Desktop.rar. It, it names it desktop.rar. Okay? And if you right click this, you can see this file size is very small still. Actually, I like to use a RAR file format because it, it compresses a little bit better and easier. And it's super easy to uncompress. So I'm going to undelete these just so we can get those out of the way real quick. And then I'm going to extract these because because of my built-in utility that I have um, it's called WinWare, I can just right-click the file, extract to desktop. So let's just for now, uh, for fun's sake, let's just rename this <sighs> zipped files zip files dot rare dot rare. Okay, so there it is. So there it is, zip files dot rare. So I want to go ahead and just extract this. So say you want to move. So you want to move this to a folder. You want to create a new folder and you want to extract them into a folder. You would say, okay, let's put. Uh, let's just say f new folder. Ah, oh, we'll just leave it new. Okay. So it's just a new. That's the name of the folder. And if we drag and drop the file, the zipped file archive inside that folder, there it goes away. So now we have a new folder here. Okay. Now all we have to do is right click, this is why you like to use the WinWare program, all you do is right click, extract to zipped files. Okay, and there it goes. Took a while, but there it goes. And there is the file. And actually, um, see when it zipped, it automatically created a file, and uh, and it used the um, the file name when it uh, extracted them. And now you have a new folder that was created automatically, and you have files inside. There you go. And as you can see, they're all still blank documents because I never did anything with them. But um, there you go. That's how you zip in unzip files, compress, uncompress, rar, unrar, however you want to say it. You can also do it from the command line with the uh, command line utility, but um, you know it's a lot easier just to right click and do 
this nowadays, you know? So, there you go. There you have it. Hope you enjoy my video. Bye-bye.